The river Ganges, also known as Ganga, running for more than 1,500 miles across some of the most densely populated areas in Asia, is perhaps the most religiously significant body of water in the world. The river is considered to be sacred and spiritually pure, though it is also one of the most polluted rivers on Earth. Originating from the Gangotri Glacier, high in the Himalayas of northern India, the river flows southeast through India, into Bangladesh, before spilling into the Bay of Bengal. It is the primary source of water, used for drinking, bathing, and irrigating crops, for more than 400 million people. For Hindus, the river Ganges is sacred and revered, embodied by the goddess Ganga. Though iconography of the goddess varies, she is most often depicted as a beautiful woman with a white crown, riding the makra, a creature with the head of a crocodile and the tail of a dolphin. She features either two or four arms, holding a variety of objects ranging from water lilies to a water pot to a rosary. As a nod to the goddess, the Ganges is often referred to as Ma Ganga, or Mother Ganga. Because of the purifying nature of the river, Hindus believe that any rituals performed at the banks of the Ganges or in its water will bring fortune and wash away impurity. The waters of the Ganges are called Gangajal, meaning literally, water of the Ganges. The Puranas, ancient Hindu scriptures, say that the sight, the name, and the touch of the Ganges cleanses one of all sins and that taking a dip in the sacred river bestows heavenly blessings. There are many renditions of the river Ganges' mythical origins, owing in part to the oral tradition of India and Bangladesh. It is said that the river gave life to the people, and, in turn, people gave life to the river. The name of Ganga appears only twice in the Rig Veda, an early sacred Hindu text, and it was only later that Ganga assumed great importance as the goddess Ganga. One myth, according to the Vishnu Purana, an ancient Hindu text, illustrates how the Lord Vishnu pierced a hole in the universe with his toe, allowing Goddess Ganga to flow over his feet into heaven and down to earth as the waters of the Ganges. Because she came into contact with Vishnu's feet, Ganga is also known as Vishnupati, meaning a descent from Vishnu's lotus feet, Another myth details how Ganga was intent on wreaking havoc on the earth with her descent as a raging river seeking revenge. In order to prevent the chaos, Lord Shiva caught Ganga in the tangles of his hair, releasing her in the streams that became the source for the river Ganges. Another version of this same story tells how it was Ganga herself who was persuaded to nurture the land and the people below the Himalayas, and she asked Lord Shiva to protect the land from the force of her fall by catching her in his hair. Though the myths and legends of the river Ganges are numerous, the same reverence and spiritual connection is shared among the populations that live along the banks of the river. The banks of the river Ganges host hundreds of Hindu festivals and celebrations each year. For example, on the 10th of the month of Jayestha, Falling between the end of May and the beginning of June on the Gregorian calendar, the Ganga Dusra celebrates the descent of the sacred river to earth from heaven. On this day, a dip in the holy river while invoking the goddess is said to purify sins and wipe away physical ailments. The Kumbh Mela, another sacred ritual, is a Hindu festival during which pilgrims to the Ganges bathe themselves in the sacred waters. The festival occurs in the same place only every 12 years, though a Kumbh Mela celebration can be found annually somewhere along the river. It is considered to be the world's largest peaceful gathering and is featured on UNESCO's list of intangible cultural heritage. The land over which the Ganges flows is regarded as hallowed ground, 
and it is believed that the holy waters of the river will purify the soul and lead to a better reincarnation or liberation of the soul from the cycle of life and death. Because of these strong beliefs, it is common for Hindus to spread cremated ashes of dead loved ones, allowing the sacred water to direct the soul of the departed, gods, or flights of stairs leading to a river, along the banks of the Ganges are known for being holy Hindu funeral destinations. Most notably are the gods of Varanasi in Uttar Pradesh and the gods of Haridwar in Uttarakhand. Though the sacred waters are linked to spiritual purity, the Ganges is one of the most polluted rivers in the world. Nearly 80% of the sewage dumped into the river is untreated, and the amount of human fecal matter is more than 300 times the limit set by India's Central Pollution Control Board. This is in addition to the toxic waste caused by dumping of insecticides, pesticides, and metals, and industrial pollutants, these dangerous levels of pollution do little to deter religious practice from the sacred river. Hindus believe drinking water from the Ganges brings fortune, while immersing oneself or one's belongings brings purity. Those that practice these rituals may become spiritually clean, but the pollution of the water afflicts thousands with diarrhea, cholera, dysentery, and even typhoid each year. Though the sacred waters are linked to spiritual purity, the Ganges is one of the most polluted rivers in the world. Nearly 80% of the sewage dumped into the river is untreated, and the amount of human fecal matter is more than 300 times the limit set by India's Central Pollution Control Board. This is in addition to the toxic waste caused by dumping of insecticides, pesticides, and metals, and industrial pollutants, these dangerous levels of pollution do little to deter religious practice from the sacred river. Hindus believe drinking water from the Ganges brings fortune, while immersing oneself or one's belongings brings purity. Those that practice these rituals may become spiritually clean, but the pollution of the water afflicts thousands with diarrhea, cholera, dysentery, and even typhoid each year.